Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, my name is Taylor Che. It's really nice to meet you. So today we're talking about boarding school. Wow, what a shocker. Mm. And basically I'm just going to go through like the admissions process, um, a couple things like how do you get in, uh, how do you choose the right school, how do you convince your parents, all of those types of things that I've kind of gotten questions about on my comments, on my comments, in my comments, okay, catch me outside, how about that? All kinds of questions that I have gotten in my comments that I will be answering now. Um, I'm not going to be answering questions, I'm assuming. Covering some topics that have been brought up. Okay, check out how cute this is. I feel like I might have shown this in the 50 facts about me video, but this is a stain from like a peanut butter and jelly, I think. <laughs> and then I just made it into this cute lady. Retro hair. So let's just kind of start off with is boarding school right for you? Um, it's not right for everyone. It definitely depends on, you know, your personality and how attached you are to where you are now. And, you know, there are all different personalities at my school. You know, you have your introverts, yours truly, your extroverts, your people that go home every weekend to see their friends, people that never leave because they don't want to go home. I had this girl that was coming on my videos and she said, you know, she didn't know if it was worth it to go to boarding school because she didn't know if she would be able to make new friends and things like that. And I think I actually addressed this in my Q&A video, but whatever. Basically, like, for me, I was really unhappy at my homeschool, but, like, my best friend is still there, and we're still, like, extremely close. Like, she's still my best friend. Um, but for me, I would have rather, you know, sacrificed not having as much time with my best friend, and I actually, when I applied to the school, I had a boyfriend at my homeschool as well, and I was like, you know, where I'm going to school and how happy I am where I am is more important than, you know, being with these people. So I chose to come here and then it's so easy to make friends because like you're just thrown in it, at the very least you're going to make friends with your roommate because you live with them. It's like, you know, you become family. You see these people every single day, so that's just something to take into consideration. Also, your independence is so important when considering if boarding school is right for you. For me, my parents have never really checked up on my homework. They've never really checked up on what's going on in school. I've always been very independent, but some people their parents are always on them and then they come to boarding school and they don't always have someone on them to do their homework and they fail basically so you have to consider like are you independent enough to be able to do your homework to be able to remember to go eat dinner to do your own laundry to clean your own room without anyone really hassling you I mean people hassle you about your room but not really like unless it's absolutely ridiculous so this is something else to think about. Okay, so the next step after you've decided, yep, boarding school is right for me, I want to go to boarding school, you need to next find what school is right for you. Um, there are some schools like mine that are only in state, like only people from the state can go to, and then there are others that are, well actually, mine, it doesn't make any sense. We can take people from inside of our state, and then we can take international students, but we don't take like students from other places in the country. But you want to do your research and look up schools, um, possibly look up residential public schools, which is what I go to, where you don't have to pay tuition. Um, look up, you know, boarding schools, look up international boarding schools, just kind of figure out what's right for you. And then after you've done some research on the schools, you want to try to set up a preview day or a shadow day. So you want to go and visit, and a preview day, they'll probably give you like an overview. This is what our school is all about. This is like if this school is right for you and you'll get like a tour of the campus. I did that when I was looking at my boarding school and then I also did a shadow day. So a shadow day, you will have a student and you just follow them around all day, you go to all their classes, um, go eat lunch with them, things like that. I did one of those as well and that's also something really good to see like what the class structure is like, if you like that, um, if you like the atmosphere of the school. Like for me, I was so nervous because my school is an accelerated school. I was like, I'm gonna get there and everyone's gonna be so ridiculously smart and I'm gonna feel so stupid but everyone is like, N normal like where everyone in my school is ridiculously smart but they're not any different than just your average person except their brain is pretty <laughs> top-notch anyways one had commented on one of my videos that they were looking at international boarding schools and there was no way for them to go and visit before they went there because they didn't have the money to visit or something and personally I would advise against that I would not recommend going to a school overseas that you have not been able to visit but you know if you are dead set on it I would definitely take to social media look at their social media accounts maybe find some people that are current students there and 
that wasn't English. Like, find some people that are current students there and reach out to them and ask them, you know, what's it like? How do you like it? What are the pros and cons? Things like that. That way you're not just throwing yourself into an environment that you really don't know anything about because then you could end up really unhappy and go home, like, so fast that it wasn't even worth it in the first place. And so now you've figured out what boarding school you want to go to. You've kind of looked into it, things like that, but your parents aren't so sure. So let's talk about how to convince your parents. Step one, you want to do your research. You want to have planned out what you're going to tell them. You know, what are the benefits? Um, how independent are you? You just really have to sell your pitch. Um, how much begging are you going to have to do? Like, please let me go. I will pay for tuition. Or, like, obviously at some schools that's, like completely out of the league like oh I'll help with tuition by getting a summer job and be persistent like if this is something that you really want like I don't want to like encourage you to nag your parents but continuously bringing it up like my parents for instance did not want me to go dad thought it was a good opportunity but he still didn't want me to go and then my mom just didn't want me to go at all like she just didn't care she's like you're fine where you are so basically what I did I wouldn't necessarily advise to do this but I just went ahead and applied and I went ahead and I just kept going on with the process until she accepted that I was going to boarding school um, and I just you know kept bringing up like this is what I really want I'm doing this like we can afford it like I'm doing this I'll pay for tuition if I have to things like that which I mind just room and board but now for the big chunk we're gonna be talking about how to get accepted boarding schools are some of the most prestigious schools in the world um, like, for instance, my school is number three in the U.S. A, I think number three public. I don't know for sure. Private. Like, but my school is the number three school in the U.S. And that's out of all schools. I can't tell you what the number one and two are. But my school's number three, which is super exciting. Because last year we were 21. So that was my seniors and grand seniors, which people that had graduated the year before. And then this year we're number three, so that means it was my class and then my seniors. So that's pretty cool. So first thing, if you're thinking about going to boarding school, is you want to have like good grades and good test scores. Um, like for my school, you on the old SAT, you had to get a 1500 out of 2400 to be accepted. Like that was the one thing that was like, this is it. Whereas your grades, you kind of have a little bit more flexibility. Um, Personally, I don't know what it is on the new SAT because the new SAT didn't exist when I was applying, but yeah, there are certain standards, like not all schools have like one set, like this is it, if you don't have this, you're not in, um, but my school does and I would recommend, you know, taking the PSAT and like practicing for your tests, um, if you're in a different country, you know, whatever your standardized tests are, um, and really practicing that. That way you can have good scores and it's going to look good, not only on your boarding school applications, but then when you go on to do your college applications, that will help as well because you already have started to get practice. And then your grades, obviously you can't like erase the past, um, but if there's going to be a couple semesters before you go to boarding school, you want to try really, really hard to get like the best grades that you possibly can. Because like, Schools want to see that you've had an increase in your grades, in your work ethic, in your study methods, and that you've kind of engaged more. Like if you already have straight A's, obviously you want to keep those straight A's, but maybe you're a B or C student, just focus on getting that higher, and they will take that rise into account. Applying to boarding school is like applying to college. Like for me, I had 15 essays, whereas a normal college essay, you'd have like two or three, maybe up to five, up to five essays for college. I have 15 essays when I was applying for boarding school and they're short answer essays with like no word count. But so some of my essays were like a page, some of them were like a paragraph, it just kind of depends, but I did have 15 all together. And one thing that you want to do in your essays is like, Demonstrate your independence because not only are they looking at who you are as a student, but who you are as a person. So if you can show them how independent you are and how ready you are to live on your own, that can only help you in the long run. Like basically they want to know that you can do your homework and you can clean your room and you can survive without your parents basically. I would also say gain experiences like clubs, sports, work experience, volunteer experience, just like applying for college, all those things just make your... Um, resume and your application look even better and boarding school like college they care about their rankings and they want to 
rank even higher because that means that they get more money. And the next thing that you should do in your essays is demonstrate your open-mindedness. A lot of people, especially at my school, they come to boarding school to get away from whatever they were at. They were unhappy at home, whether it was like, you know, they weren't being challenged enough at school or they were being bullied or they didn't have friends or things like that. Even though, yes, it's like a very prestigious school, people do come for reasons like that. Um, like my school, we have a lot of transgender students. We have a lot of LGBTQ. This is a very, like I said before, a very diverse environment and it's a very comfortable environment and admissions isn't going to accept you if you're going to take away from someone's comfort and their experience at boarding school. So that's just something that you want to keep in mind how open-minded you are, um, how open to change, and how open to new experiences and things that you maybe wouldn't have encountered at your home schools in a small town or things like that. And then the last thing which I already mentioned when trying to figure out what school you want to go to is to visit the school. Um, it can only help you. The school will see, oh, she has visited before and she has attended shadow days like all of the shadow days and preview days go through the admissions office so they'll see your name they'll see that you've been visiting and a lot of times those programs are led by admissions counselors like people that actually read your application so i'd say like after a presentation maybe go up with your parents and talk to them like ask some questions even if it's a question that maybe you don't really want to know something just something to start up a conversation introduce yourself like hi I'm Taylor I really want to go to this school um, I just was wondering you know what's your average graduation rate or what's your average college acceptance things like that um, that'll just really get a conversation sparked you can ask about clubs so you can make it more personable things like that and that is all I have for you guys today. This is a list I made a while ago. So as always, if you guys have any questions, you can, you can comment down below and I will answer them for you. Um, I'm considering doing another Q&A because on the last Q&A that I did, I got like the most questions that I've ever had just on that video. And if you want to see more videos like this or some of my other boarding school videos, make sure to subscribe down below. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you guys on Friday. <laughs> Bye. That was pretty nifty. <laughs> Bye for real. I'm a, I'm a